Welcome to this session on placing sloped roofs. So in this session, we're gonna create the roof floor of the building. We're gonna start by creating a parapet wall and then adding a sloped roof form on top of that. So again, since, since we're going to want that roof to line up with, with the floors below, we're just going to do a save as from our floor office two model. So let's go file, save as, and we're gonna call this a floor roof. And I'm going to change the floor selector to the floor roof level. Just as we've done before, I'm going to select everything, use my move, rotate my compass, lock my axis, and go up 14 feet. And in this case, I'm also going to want to delete all those windows and curtain wall. All I really need here is the the walls. And so again, another way to do that fairly quickly would be to go to my items and, and just select the curtain wall. I can right press in the view and select delete. And then I could do the same for the windows. So I'm just going to select all those windows and right press and select delete. And then let's change the height of all these walls to three feet. So again, I'm just going to use my item selector to select them. And I could use the modify properties tool here to change the height to three feet. Left click in the view to accept. And now we kind of have that low parapet wall and we can start to create our roof. So we're going to use the, the sloped roof tool here. And to create a sloped roof, essentially you need a shape that, that's the outline of the roof. Now just to make this a little simpler, we've actually set up a file with the shapes in it. So if you'll come to your links tab on the Explorer and expand the building models and then the design models, you'll see a roof footprint model there. And we're just gonna add that to our model. And all we need to do here is if you select it here and then we're just gonna drag and drop it into the view. And then our attachment method should be set to recommended and we're going to select okay. And you'll to see two shapes there in the model. And those represent the outline of the roof and we're gonna use those to create the sloped roof. So we're going to select the place roof tool We'll just use this roof here, the example roof. Now we can control the slope of the roof and we can use rise and run or an angle or a percentage. I'm going to select rise and run and I'm going to set it to 2 to 12. There is an option to apply that slope to all sides, but we're just having this simple gable roof, so we're not going to do that. We'll, we'll select the side we want to slope. We can give that roof a thickness. Again, type of thing you could come back and change later. We're fairly schematic at this point. I'm going to select six inches there. Now scroll on down here. You'll notice that there's a tab here called materials and it has a part definition. So this is you know, the part definition that's going to determine the symbology of the roof. In this case, most importantly, the, the rendering material. And so you can see here, there's a couple of options. So we could do shingles slate. We could do, you know, for instance, a, a corrugated metal or a standing seam metal or wood shingles. So I'm gonna select this shingle slate. And then to place that roof, we're simply going to select one of the shapes. And then you want to select the edges that need to slope. So in this case, we're going to select this outer edge here. So we're only going to slope this in one direction. So we've got that selected and then it's a right click in the view or reset to create the roof. So I'm going to right click 
and there's my roof. Now notice there was an option here to delete the construction. We actually don't have that construction copied in this file. When we drag and drop it from that explorer, it's coming in as a reference. So no need to delete it. Now there's another shape over here, the smaller part of the roof. So I'm going to select that one next. I'm going to select that side to slope. And then again, a reset or right click to place it. And now I've got the second roof. And we'll go ahead and, and close our roof builder tool. And if I want to turn those shapes off, I could right press and actually just detach that reference. I really don't need it anymore. I'll select OK. So now we've got our two sloped roofs and we have these walls, but we need to get those walls to come up and meet the roof, correct? So we're going to do a little cleanup on the walls because you can see we're going to need this wall here to extend across, you know, so that we have a wall between those two edges of the roof. So we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. First, I'm going to break one of these walls. We're going to come to that side wall here and we're just going to break it across here because we we need it to enclose this side of the, the, the building under the larger roof and then we'll have a separate wall under the smaller roof. So we're going to use the connect walls. We're going to select that wall and then this wall to close the building off there. I have to rotate this view around just to see what we're doing there. And kind of see it there. Maybe leave it like that. Now these two end walls, I actually want to basically extend them and have them stop right here at the corrugated metal. So I'm actually going to use the, the modify wall tool instead and use this extend a linear form and I'm going to select to an imaginary line. So I'll select the wall and then I'm just going to draw a line, an imaginary line along the edge of that corrugated metal. And then you can see it cleans that wall up to there. Otherwise, the, the connect tools will actually try and, and merge all the layers of that wall. So again, I'm going to select this and then create my imaginary line. So we've cleaned up the walls. Now we just have to get the height extended to the roof. And so there's a fairly simple tool here, which is the adjust top, which allows me to select a roof form and then select walls that need to meet that roof form. So we'll start with the smaller one here. I'm going to select the smaller roof form and we'll select each of the walls. And now they're extended up to that roof form. And a right click to reset. And then we can select the next roof. And again, just go around and select each of the walls that need to extend up. And now we have extended all the walls up to the roof. And we've got a nice clean sloped roof to go on top of our building. Now in the in the BIM Quick Start A102, we'll actually take those four floors and start to assemble that master model. But we have one more session left in A101, and what we're going to do is place a profile. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.